Hey there, I'm doing a user review for the cool little tank video that you see on Facebook where people draw a black line and the tank uh, follows the line. Um, I decided to get one for my son to see if it is all that it's cracked up to be. Um, so hopefully my review can make you uh, decide whether or not your purchase is worth your money and your time. So um, I just received this in the mail today. Um, this is what the box looks like. It's obviously made in China. Um, in the video on Facebook, uh, the picture, the video makes it look like a lot bigger of a tank. Um, this is actually a lot smaller than I anticipated it to be. Um, I have yet to open this, so I this is going to be the first time I'm using it. Um, let's see. So we'll find out just really if this is a good product or not and worth your money. Okay. All right. So here's the tank. It's much smaller than I thought it would be. Um, it comes with its own marker that's taped to the back of the box. Uh, I don't know if you need this special marker or not, but um, let's see. It comes with its own set of instructions here. And it tells you how to draw some lines. I brought my own markers because I didn't know if it came with a marker or not. And let's see here. Oh, it also comes with its own preview. Okay, so it's packaged in there pretty decent, so it seems like it would be secure in there. Okay, so here's the tank. Okay. Um, and this is a regular sized shot glass, um, nothing fancy. And this is the size comparison to, here you go. Here's a size comparison, if that helps. Um, it's much smaller than I really thought it would be. It's about the size of a shot glass if you stand it up on its backside here. Okay. Um, Sorry. It comes, let's see, here it has an on and off switch on the bottom. Oh, all right, there we go. And it's got these little rubber uh, tracks on it. Oh, well, that's cool. This little, this turns. Um, I guess that's for the batteries. Okay. So, with the paper that it came with, let's go ahead and see if it really does work. You can see it's actually on the track that it's following. This is the paper that came with the tank. And it seems to be doing just fine. So, that's a go. That works just fine. Now, I'm going to use this Super Blind 700 permanent marker that it came with. So we'll see. Now, I brought two kinds of paper. I brought your typical regular notebook paper, as well as plain white computer printer paper. I'm going to try it on both just to see if it takes a certain kind of paper or if it just really is the black line. Um, it tells you on the instructions what kind of lines. So on the computer paper, that will be my first test. It's not ruined my countertop here. All 
All right. This is what I drew. This is with the marker that it came with. All right, no issues, awesome. And that's with regular computer paper, so that's cool. Now I'm gonna try this on regular three ring binder notebook paper, same marker. Okay, drew that. So this thing's kind of cool. All right, so far it's pretty good. Now I'm going to, I brought two kinds of markers. This is your Super Sharpie. It's kind of a old marker, so. Trying to make it messy, just like if a kid were to do it. Um, or, you know, you're just a messy drawer. It's kind of faded, but this is what I made. Here it goes. Oh, fell off the track. So, let's put it back, see if maybe... It's definitely not perfect, but it definitely works. Yeah, that's good to know. It definitely works on the supermarker over here. Okay. This time I just drew a single line. Get rid of this paper. Go. So I think I might have drawn my line too small. Not sure, but it's getting a little lost on just a simple circle. So let's try. Um, my line also might be a little too small. Let's try this again. Yeah, I think my line might just be a little too small. So you might need a little bit bigger of a marker than a super sharpie as it disappears. My bigger line, it tends to stay on, but then it kind of gets lost. All right. And now I'm going to try my super magnum. The super sharpie marker would probably work if you made the line a little bit thicker than I did here or here because um, it worked just fine when I made it the line big like this. Uh, it does say in the instructions to have a bigger a bigger line so okay. Super sharp. This is the Magnum Sharpie. And it has absolutely no issue following the larger line. So I really think that it has a lot to do with how thick of a black line that you do make. Um, I don't really think the paper side, the paper matters. But I do wonder if the paper, if the, I drew this one much larger, so we'll see if that works.
and it works just fine. So, uh, even though this is a lot smaller than I thought it would be, um, it's definitely a pretty cool toy and you could definitely uh, use your imagination to draw whatever kind of thing you'd like and maybe if you got two tanks they could try to battle each other or something, I'm not really sure, but um, here it is, you've seen it work, so make your own decision as to whether or not you want to buy your own by yourself or your kid one of these toys thanks for watching